G'day and welcome back to Celebrate Real Profit. My name is Kerry O'Shea. Celebrate Real Profit. Have you ever felt lied to by paper profit? What do I mean by paper profit? Your profit and loss statement. So we as accountants, and I say we because uh, I have been trained as a certified practicing accountant, we encourage our clients to to look at the profit and loss statement to see how you're going. We encourage our clients to keep keep their transactions up to date. So when we're doing our review at the end of the quarter or the end of financial year, you are confident that everything has been included. So what I'm saying is, have you ever felt like you've been lied to by paper profit in that you look at your bottom line, your profit or your loss, and you go, yes, I've made a profit. And then you go, oh, you beauty. Yes, I've worked really hard this year. Let's make a extra uh, profit distribution. Um, so you go to your, your bank account and yet there's no cash in the bank. So that's what I mean by being lied to by paper profit. It's just what it says on a financial statement, yet it is not substantiated by cash in the bank real profit. Assessing your profit is is a system of where we are looking at where the cash is in your business. And I'm not talking about the illegal stuff cash, I'm talking about cash in your bank accounts. And why do we need cash in the bank? Well, you know, we could have a profit, yet what can you do with that? Who wants to get into more debt? We are in a time of 2020 where we have seen the unusual and anything can happen. And it is cash in the bank that supports us and nurtures us. Why does it support and nurture us? Because we can pay our bills with it. Because we have a greater sleep at night factor. Why? Because we all ultimately are hardwired to go and look at our bank balance as our gauge, as our indicator of how we are traveling. So assess your profit is about a cash flow system of flowing your cash into those respective buckets to support and honor you. And the first comes with a worthiness bank account. You are worthy of extraordinary things in life. And we talk about worthiness in the Worthy of Richness program. And that worthiness is very different to deserving. And I've seen that in my clients that a deserving is that process of going about finding transactions, reconciling them, And yet there is a gap between where we have a gut feeling of where our profit is and yet where we have this expectation that it's a gap between the two. And that's what worthiness is about. And worthiness closes that gap between the actual profit and your relationship with you and ensuring you are creating a life that lights you up. So that's the importance of cash in the bank, real profit. G'day and bye for now.